Hey, what's up everyone? Terry here, and we have an isothermal compressibility problem here to do. Uh, this is the compressibility of silicone oil at 293 Kelvin. It's 1.5 times 10 to the negative 4 per bar. And the question is, what pressure must be applied in order to increase its density by 0.15%? So let's go into this. So we want to know the pressure that must be applied. Pressure that must be applied. Well, that means we're applying pressure on top of an initial pressure. So we want to solve for this change in pressure. That's, that's what we want. And in order to increase its density by 0.15%. Well, we want the density to increase by a certain amount. So that's it's increasing the density relative to its initial density. So that means we have the change in density, let's say rho is the density, over its initial density, that times 100%, that must be 0.15%. Or if we divide by 100, the change in density over the density is 0.0015. So this is what we're given. And we want this change in pressure here. Rho is density, P is pressure. And we're given the isothermal compressibility of the substance of silicone oil. It's, it's this value here. Now, what is the isothermal compressibility? Well, kappa T, T means constant temperature. And it's defined as negative one over V times the partial derivative of V with respect to pressure holding temperature constant because it's isothermal. And I always think of this as squishing a balloon. Whenever you see these partial derivatives, it's always nice to know what the process is. And if you imagine squishing a balloon or squishing this oil, you're applying pressure to this oil uh, at constant temperature, that's kind of what's going on here. Now, we want the change in pressure here, but we don't have a change in pressure here. But Notice that we're not changing the density by very much here. So it, it wouldn't be too much of a leap to rearrange this equation so that we can have this change in pressure here, this dp on this side, move the kappa to the bottom, to the other side, divide both sides by the kappa, uh, t, and then we'd still have our d or dv here, and this is all under constant temperature. So temperature equals constant here. All right, we can rearrange this to negative one over kappa t times dv over v. And this is a v. And in, now the way we have it written, we have the change in volume over the volume. And this is our change in pressure here, infinitesimal change in pressure. But we're not given the change in volume over volume. We're given the change in density over the, over the density. So we need to relate these two together. And there's a couple ways to do it. So we know that the density, I'm going to write it in red, density equals mass over volume. Density is mass over volume here. Well, we want to know this in terms of dv. So let's solve this for v. So v equals mass over the density. And we'll take the derivative. That's supposed to be a density here. We'll take the derivative with respect to the density. So the derivative with respect to the density of the volume equals mass over... Oops. So take the derivative with respect to the density of both sides, mass over density. And what is this equal? Well, the, the derivative of this is negative m over the density squared. So we have our, and this is holding temperature constant, of course, uh, constant temperature. I'll say constant temperature. So del V over del rho holding temperature constant equals negative M over density squared. Well, we can rearrange this. DV equals negative M D 
50 rho over rho squared, constant temperature. Okay, well that's our dV, so we can plug that in here. So this is negative one over kappa T, and our dV is negative m d rho over rho squared over v. All of this is over v. Now what is v? Well, here, v equals m over rho. So we can substitute that into here. This is m over rho. See what I'm doing here? I just substituted what dv is, then I substituted what v is into here. So now I can simplify this here. So uh, let me clean it up before I simplify it. So this is one over kappa t. And this here in the red is negative m d rho over rho squared. And in the green, I have one over rho. So this is like one over m divided by rho. So clean this up a little bit. Well, we can cancel some stuff out. We have this mass cancels out with this mass. And if we multiply top and bottom by rho, these cancel. And this, this rho cancels with one of these rows here. So we're left with negative d rho. Uh, I'll keep my colors. Negative d rho. So put this negative one kappa t and d rho over rho. Okay, and this, all of this stuff on the, is, this is our dp here, dp. So we have an expression for dp in terms of d rho over, over rho. Now these are infinitesimal changes. This is constant volume, or temperature, sorry, constant temperature. These are infinitesimal changes, but we want this change, the delta change with the triangle here. So right? we want this delta change here because that's what we're given. We're not given infinitesimal changes, but we're not increasing the density by very much. The density is increasing by, oh, I think I missed a negative sign here. There's a, see this negative and there's a negative here and a negative here. These two cancel out. So there's no, Negative times a negative makes a positive, so this is positive here. Okay, so this density is not changing by much. So even though this is not an infinitesimal change, this change is so little, is so, is a small change that we're going to assume assume uh, since change is small. We're dealing with small changes here that we're changing our infinitesimal changes to our delta changes. So one over kT times this delta rho over rho. And this is our 0 0.0015 right here, 0 0.0015. So we'll plug everything in. One over, now what's our kappa is one point 1.5 times 10 to the negative 4 per bar. 1.5 times 10 to the negative 4 per bar. And our rho is 0 0.0015. This is the change, 0 0.0015 equals, and we'll plug that in. So 1 divided by 1.5 exponent for negative equals times 0 0.0015, 10. Nice round number, <laughs> 10 bar, 10 bar, uh, 10 bar, bar. There we go. So in order to change the density by this much, by 0.15%, we need to add an additional 10 bar of pressure to it. All right, hope you enjoyed it. Cheers.